Some of the damage the Halls suffered was here on the roof of their home. They say they didn't need assistance from FEMA, but hearing that those in Harrisburg didn't even get that opportunity is upsetting. This is where Farbest says it's setting up shop. But residents in the PAC community say this is a flood zone. Then you add in narrow roads, decreased property value, and the smell that comes with the Bruder facility. This is a plan that has little support. While you're shopping for coverage, there are four levels to the Affordable Health Care Act. Say you choose the bronze level. 60% is covered by the insurance company. 40% is left up to you. The silver option means 70% is covered by your health insurance company, and you pick up 30% of the tab. Go with gold. 80% is covered by the health care company, and you're responsible for 20. Platinum, the highest level, means 90% is covered by the health care company. You take care of 10. The higher the level, the higher the premium, but the less you pay out of pocket. Initial reports was just heavy smoke in the attic part of this church. Then within minutes, the fire erupted. Crews were inside trying to check the scene, but had to leave for their own safety. The Center Township Advisory Board says it has three open slots and six people running to fill them. Incumbent Dennis Isaac says it's a sign of increased interest. Breaking news, it's right now in Evansville. EPD tells us they have a suspect in custody in connection with the fire at Sugar Mill Creek. Her name is Michelle Hirschberger. They are calling this arson. You're taking a live look at where Evansville crews say hot spots pop back up around 5 a.m. And again, Michelle Hirschberger, she was arrested earlier this morning. What you're seeing right now, totally different scene from last night when those flames started around 8.30. Here's video. They could be seen for miles from the complex just off of North Green River Road. Before and after. Often when firefighters pack up their hoses, there's no need to reel them back out again. As a firefighter, you want to get it out the first time. But sometimes it, it just it doesn't work that way. Around 4.30 a.m., more fires brought out more crews. More crews means more damage. I just seen flames started shooting up from the top of it. And my mother, she was in the restroom, so I ran in the house saying it's on fire again. Ollie Allen and her mom, Faye, are just a stone's throw from the burnt building. Coming home was not easy late Tuesday night. I'm insulin dependent and I need to get in and get a shot. And the officer, he offered to come to my home and get my stuff, you know, my insulin. Or he told me, you know, I'll help you take your groceries home. He's like, you know, we'll make back and forth trips. He's like, I'll help you out. Just a lot of fear and nervous, just thinking it's that close to your house. Oh, I couldn't imagine it. I feel so bad for those people. So bad. If you think about it, you've only got probably one set of photographs. You've got one set of uh, your children's first shoes and things like that. So to lose all of that, I mean, that's a large portion of your life. Across the lake sits a few of the hundreds of neighbors who watch the flames spread. Neighbors who say they're more than spectators. They're friends ready to help any way they can. Reporting from the Sugar Mill Creek Fire, Tabney Dozier, Eyewitness News. Millions of Americans will be browsing around, shopping for new health care insurance. Officials say affordable health care options are like a retail store. They have plans that can be tailored for an individual's style. The way it works is you get into the, the marketplace exchange and you put your information in there and it'll list different insurances you can pick from. So you would want to pick one that your doctor is in network with. Realtor Jane Crowley will be trying on new health care, hoping it fits like a glove. I've been with my doctors for a long time. It's kind of like now. You know, if you change insurance, if you went out to find an insurance company, you would just want to make sure that you had one that your doctor accepted. While you're shopping for coverage, there are four levels to the Affordable Health Care Act. Say you choose the bronze level. 60% is covered by the insurance company. 40% is left up to you. The silver option means 70% is covered by your health insurance company, and you pick up 30% of the tab. Go with gold. 80% is covered by the health care company, and you're responsible for 20. Platinum, the highest level, means 90% is covered by the health care company. You take care of 10. The higher the level, the higher the premium, but the less you pay out of pocket. Crowley is also concerned about care. It's a wonderful the deductibles, I've got a few very minor pre-existing things. How's that going to be covered? Maximum out-of-pocket expenses. I know what I've got now, but I don't know what I'm going to have in the next couple of months. It's up to you and your doctor and 
course, the insurance company, and you can check with them to see what qualifies you for different services. Make sure you shop early so you can try on different plans. Officials say getting in touch with your physician will be a great source as you browse the market. Off the beaten path of Lincoln Avenue, there's what some call a hidden gem of knowledge. I grew up with the Lincoln Gardens. The Evansville African American Museum is known by many as a cultural mecca, full of artifacts and stories like the one that's still being written about George Russell Flowers Sr. Uh, that uniform takes me back to my struggle to get to where I got to wear, to wear that uniform. The city's first black fire chief, he stands almost as tall as the case that holds his memorable attire. I think it's a lot of barriers that have been broken down in that uniform. Each stripe and seam hold a tail. I've had some threatening letters. Flowers face segregation and discrimination. I don't even worry about that. I'm just thankful that I stayed the course, that I held strong to the principles. He almost didn't make it to chief, diagnosed with prostate cancer in 1996. I don't like to build myself up, but maybe I need to pat myself on the back because I could have quit. With the words that come out of his mouth is so enlightening. And he doesn't, no shame in his game, like they would say, the kids would say. And he's just a phenomenal person. Eight out of the ten people that had went for the job had said if you had, you wouldn't get it, who would you select out of the crowd, the other applicants to get it? And they said George Flowers. That's a testament to, uh, you know, hard work will get you um, some acknowledgement and encouragement for those that's coming behind you. Flowers is what museum officials call a living legend. So it wasn't just George Flowers. Someone who made history. I ended up being the, the kid. And continues to give back. And that uniform is wrapped up with a whole lot of people. Someone who cares. When Sandra Matthews first came up with the idea, she was going to try to preserve and, 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 and take this and make it a part of our history. It was a wonderful idea. And then to later on look and see my uniform set up in here, um, this, this, this just blows my mind. You don't always need a George Flowers to talk to. The signs and memorabilia here speak for themselves. We want everybody to come. The Hispanics, the Latinos, the Caucasians, African Americans, anybody that wants to come, they can come. At less than 10 years old, the museum is an antique hall of fame. Whether it's business hours or not, there will likely be a light shining on a lonely uniform that uplifted so many. Good Thursday morning, Tri-State. Welcome to Daybreak. Tabby Dozier, Ron Rhodes to my right. Uh, Jason Lindsay filled in for yesterday. Yes, Jason he, was here. Yeah, he was talking about next week some cold weather, oh, some yeah. single digit temperatures. I said, he don't know what he's talking about. Ron's <laughs> going to come in and fix it up. And you said the same thing.